I'm building a project to play around with some web technologies and obviously I'm building it open source in public. I will be really happy if you want to join and contribute to the project as someone already did and there are some open issues but what is this project about? What is the stack? And why you should contribute? So this is a project about displaying GitHub stats but the goal is not about the project itself but rather the technologies involved. This is a Next.js project so I'm gonna use TypeScript, Tailwind CSS, there's TZY. I get data from the GitHub APIs using GraphQL and React Query. I'm also doing the login with Nextout and GitHub Bus Provider. And like I said, the goal is not actually creating the best application ever, but playing around together, studying these technologies, which are already implemented in the project, and also maybe at some point add something else. For example, I've got in my list, maybe we can create a user profile and settings, and where should we store the data? Maybe on a DB like Mongo with an ORM like Prisma, or maybe we can start with local storage and see if we want to add new technologies. Something I will add for sure is unit test or component testing with Vitest or Jest, and maybe some end-to-end -end testing with either Cypress or Playwright. I actually haven't decided yet. Because again, the goal is not actually the result, but rather studying together and playing around and experimenting with those technologies, and even with more if you want to suggest one. I'll be really happy to have a look. But who am I? Well, let me take you a couple of seconds. My name is Leonardo and I'm a web developer. I like to talk about that and also open source on my channel. So if you like those two topics, you might consider subscribing. But let's get back to the project because there's already something to show. So this is the really basic home page. You might want to create a pull request, making it slightly better. Actually, I should create an issue for that. And let me also move my webcam down there because here you can sign in from here and also there. And here in local development, you can either go with credentials or GitHub. On production will be only GitHub. And now that we are logged in, we can get started or we can go there and you can see settings coming soon, like I mentioned earlier. There's already a really simple profile, which like I said, grabs data from GitHub. We can add something here and the stats page. Also the loading isn't the most pleasant. We might want to make it better. So as you can see here, we're just displaying the pull requests, one created in the main repositories and I can see here what got merged, what is still open, what is closed, because the goal is not actually the result, but creating the project. You can also convert on text, on JSON, and this actually may be really helpful when creating your CV, because you maybe want to list the pro... Oh, this is another issue that needs to get fixed. So I was saying, you can list in your CV all the projects you contributed to, how many pull requests, and this can be some data you might want to add. So I also think it's not completely useless. And in any case, if you want to suggest new features that you think are relevant, super easy, just create an issue. I'll be really happy to read your suggestion and we can implement it together. One thing I want to mention here, you have to log in with GitHub. So you actually need to create a GitHub app in order to do that. The credentials instead work with a simple GitHub token, but obviously in every well-maintained repository, there's a contributing.md, which in this case is still kind of empty. But let me go on VS Code. There's already a pull request I was actually reviewing, which will add a proper contributing.md. Here are the basic instructions to fork, clone and push, and also how to set up the environment variables. If I close this one. So here you will see all the instructions you need to create a GitHub OAuth app. It's actually not that difficult, but it might be tricky on some steps. So if you need some help, you can just join on Discord. For example, here we were talking about another pull request you can find here. This one is still a draft because the contributor was not sure about a particular solution. We were talking about that here and there are some file changes. But anyway, on Discord, we're actually talking about a possible solution to this problem. And that's actually the goal of the project. 
studying and playing around together with 12 technologies so that we can learn something new together and also have some fun. You're still not 100% sure why you should join? On your full-time job, you usually use always the same stack, that is either the stack of your company or what is needed for your client. So in this open source project, you have the possibility to actually experiment, introduce something new, and that's a great way to actually learn something rather than just watching tutorials. And I'm one who makes tutorials, so you should also watch my tutorials, but I still think in order to learn something new, you have to play around and that's what this project is about. And that was it for this project overview. Feel free to join, leave a star, participate on the issues and let's learn and have fun together in the open source world. Thanks for watching this video. Let me recommend you once more to subscribe if you like web development and open source. And that was really it. Thanks again for watching and bye. See you in the next video.